As a mom of two premature babies, I'm curious if this is what it feels like to actually be prepared to bring a new child into your home. It feels kind of nice. It's been seven weeks since I initiated contact with a foster care agency in order to see about what it would take to become foster parents. I was going to share the whole process as to what we've gone through up to this point, but it's only been seven weeks, so it would just everything happened really fast. I think the process does often take longer than eight weeks, but our licensing agent said that if we're motivated, then he's motivated, and he pushed us right on through the classes. He actually even set up a one-on-one -on -one so that we could knock some classes out um, in advance just to get through them in order to speed up the process. My biggest concern at this point is that we will get a child right before Easter because the Easter Bunny doesn't know that the child is going to be here or not. So they might have to like scramble a bit in order to get things situated and that could potentially be stressful but doable. Our age range is from 3 to 7 and we are looking to foster a little boy. We are open to considering a little sister if the boy has one in order to keep the siblings set together and that would work well with the dynamic of our family currently. And in order to prepare for that, we've got the bunk beds set up in the boys' room and I have an extra bed and mattress ready just in case. I also have toothbrushes and loofahs and a pair of pajamas and underwear and socks for each size that we would be willing to accept the age range for. I wanted to have those specific things on hand just in case we get a call late at night and I'm not able to run out to the store really quickly or if my husband is at work or on call and I don't want to lug all of the children to the store with me in order to grab a couple of things for our foster child. When you have multiple children, there is no such thing as a quick run to the store. So it's just easier to be prepared and I've never been prepared to have a child come into our family. Uh, so I'm taking advantage of it now. After this, I feel like I really need to tell you guys about my kids. If you try to look up videos about foster care home studies or adoption home studies, then a lot of people will say that they were sat down and given a formal interview with the licensing agent and that was not our case. Our agency provides us with what are called narrative questions. It's a few pages of questions that my husband and I filled out separately to send in going over our background and how we handle discipline and our experience with children and then we just send it to them instead of having a formal interview. Between the safety audit and the in-person classes, there are a lot of interactions that we have with the agency so that they kind of get to know who we are as people from just being face-to-face -face with us. And then with that combined with the narrative questions, all of it is the home study. I guess that there are three things that I was mostly concerned about whenever I started this process. One was the home study, one was the safety audit, and then one was the fire inspection. I assumed that the fire inspection would be pretty easy, but I didn't know how much it was going to cost or uh, how available they were going to be. But when I called our like local fire department, they actually wanted to come out the same day. And I was like, oh yeah, that's fine. But we ended up scheduling for the following day. So that was really convenient for us. The fire marshal was looking to make sure that we had working fire detectors. <laughs> smoke alarms. They're called smoke alarms. The fire marshal wanted to make sure that we had working smoke alarms, carbon monoxide detectors. They needed to see that we had a fire extinguisher in the kitchen. And they were looking to make sure that like the bedrooms were accessible and that there weren't things blocking the windows, like I'm not living in a hoarder situation, things of that nature. There weren't immediate fire risks in my home. As far as the safety audit, the licensing agent came into our home and walked around to make sure that our home 
was safe to house children in. I showed them that our medication was locked up and I questioned him about my cleaning supplies because I've heard that in some situations, different states, that cleaning supplies needed to be locked up. Other cleaning supplies was okay to just be out of reach of the child. And so I usually keep my cleaning supplies under the sink like a normal American. And they said that it was okay to stay under there um, having the magnetic locks. The magnetic locks are from Amazon. They're reasonable in price and I use them under the kitchen sink and then above the washer and dryer in the laundry room. During the safety audit, the licensing agent is also looking for weapons and that the ammunition for those weapons are locked up separately. And also what I did not expect is that he went into our pantry and our fridge obviously to make sure that we had food and that we were able to supply food to a child and for some reason that didn't even come across my mind as something that they would do but it does make sense so there's your update about what's going on in foster care right now we could be expecting a child at any time this week and we are absolutely okay if nobody needs us for a while but it'll be nice to have our home open and available for those who do need us. We will keep you guys updated on this little adventure that we're going on. As always, stay safe and have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.